All right, so I'm on my fourth oil change for the Valvoline Restore and Protect. A lot of people don't drive that much, apparently. So in pretty much like a month to two months max, I was able to crank out all four oil changes, which they suggest. I'm going to tell you guys if it's really overhyped or if it actually works. It's, it's kind of mixed, but I'm just going to be honest and truthful because a lot of people are acting like this is a marketing gimmick and then other people are trying to say that it is uh the greatest oil on the whole planet and it'll cure anything so i'm just trying to be realistic with this review so i have a hyundai ionic 2019 i have a quarter million miles i want to try to squeeze out some more life in it so one thing that i did is it comes with uh the the cap says to use zero w20 obviously things kind of wear out over time so i switched to a thicker oil because you know it's still a little bit warmer so i got the the 5w30 owner's manual says it's okay warmer climate depends how you drive you know there's more protection with thicker oil that's a whole different debate but switch to that no issues and i have noticed that one of the benefits the engine does feel a lot smoother it doesn't shake as much it's a lot quieter so i'm not hearing as much like kind of metal parts moving around and it feels more fluid you know when you push on the gas and you know the the rpms increase you know it's very seamless so uh there's that benefit have noticed that the oil consumption is down before i would say i was using about a quart of oil at maybe every two thousand to three thousand miles um maybe a little more so i started checking my oil about in june i kept thinking because i have a new car i don't need to check the oil so uh no telling what type of damage i've done by driving it with really low oil but i noticed that oil burning was happening and apparently that's a problem with these hyundai gdi engines so they come with like low tension piston rings and you know it says factory new it restores it um that's just you know the, the the piston rings the other problem though i'd have to say with this car for example using this oil is because it's a gasoline direct injection this oil is not going to help clean it it'll help clean out the carbon deposits everywhere else around it it cleans the piston rings which has helped a little bit with the the oil burning you know any type of carbon deposit cleaning is pretty good i did check the oil filter on the first 2,000 miles after i changed it because a lot of people were advising do the first set of this when most cleaning happens only go a thousand to two thousand miles and then change it that oil filter completely black it was some nasty oil um then i did the next set did that at about three thousand miles then another three thousand miles and now i'm about a thousand miles into the fourth one running a little bit better obviously it can't clean the gasoline direct injection but that's just how this is if you're driving an older car which most people that are looking into this oil are driving an older car that's using older technology, then this definitely works. So if you're able to get oil all over the whole engine, this will clean out the carbon. Definitely works. It's not a marketing gimmick. The only problem is if you're driving a more modern car, you may have to do separate type of cleaning for the uh, gasoline direct injection. But it's a good oil. Even if you're not worried about cleaning, it runs very smooth. It's quieter. So I would at least give it a try no matter what vehicle you have just don't think that it's going to cure all of your engine problems uh i enjoy it i may after this full cleaning switch to like ams oil or go to pins oil ultra platinum and just a more high performance oil but for right now it's 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 not like hurting anything so i would just kind of be cautious don't think that it's going to cure all of your engine problems and definitely pay attention to what type of engine you have but it reduces oil burning for sure and runs smoother and quieter a lot of other people have agreed with that so that's my opinion being realistic on the restore and protect uh there's obviously still going to be some carbon in there but it's it's better than most oils for cleaning performance wise gas mileage i'd say maybe a slight hit just because it's not as lubricated as some of the thinner oils and obviously it's a thick oil and you know hopefully more testing is done on this but so far no engine problems